And as we know, when it's not functioning, when the vagus is inhibited by the sympathetic, unhelpful nervous system, well then our heart's racing or even worse, it's irregular. In the gut, it would, because the parasympathetic is involved in normal muscular contractions, that would be the heart, the muscles of the heart, but also in the gut, it might be associated with uh, constipation or diarrhea if it goes wrong, bloating, discomfort. Um, and as a doctor, all my patients come in to me with these problems thinking the gut bacterium is wrong and that's the problem with their um, bloating and, and diarrhea. And they're kind of partially right. It might have been caused by stress, but actually what's really weird that we found nowadays, there's um, up to half a million neurons in the gut, nerve cells in the, the actual intestine enteric nervous system up to half a million more than the brain and the gut produces 30 neurotransmitters neurotransmitters means things that work in the brain so this is a really important area because the gut is producing neurotransmitters it is producing hormones and the wrong bacterium in the gut can affect the production of those neurotransmitters therefore affecting our mood so it makes sense that mood, gut bacteria, vagus nerve are connected.